Hey guys, welcome to the Rockzilla 94's second annual shootout rant. Once again, I am back ranting about why I feel that the shootout should no longer decide gold medal games. After witnessing two more gold medal games this year being decided by shootouts, I figured I'd bring out another shootout rant video because why the hell not? I'm sorry guys, but I do not like the shootout. In fact, I hate the shootout. I haven't liked the shootout for a long time watching the National Hockey League. I mean, as a lifelong NHL fan, I have ever since they brought in the shootout, I mean, as I started to get older and get into the end of my years as a high school student, I really grew to despise the shootout because I don't feel the shootout is a proper way to decide games. And after watching Canada lose the gold medal at the 2017 World Junior Hockey Championship to the Americans, and after watching Canada lose the gold medal at the World Hockey Championship last year to Sweden, both in shootouts, that made me decide to do a rant last year on shootouts. Now I want to bring, I'm doing a rant once again for the second year in a row about shootouts because I don't feel that shootouts should be deciding such significant games as gold medal games are. I'm sorry, but to me a gold medal game is basically a, a playoff game. It's basically a game seven. Because either you win or you lose. There is no game two. There's no game seven. There's no playoff series. It's one game and that's it. And you know what, guys? I'm sorry, but gold medal games should not be decided in shootouts. In my opinion. You may disagree with me and that's fine. But I don't feel that shootouts, a breakaway competition, should be deciding the winner of a hockey tournament. Whether it's the Olympics, the World Juniors, or the World Hockey Championship, or even the National Hockey League during the regular season. And you know, last year I saw the Americans win the World Juniors because of a shootout. I saw Sweden defeat Canada in the World Hockey Championship because of a shootout. And now, so far this year, I've witnessed Sweden become back-to-back -back World Hockey Champions because they defeated Switzerland in the gold medal game in a shootout. And I also, back in February, witnessed Canada, our Canadian women, lose the gold medal, the Olympic gold medal, to the American women in a shootout. Now, th I just want to also mention that this video is not... The point of this video is not to discredit the Swedish back-to-back -back world hockey championship victories or the American women's gold medal victory or the Americans world junior hockey championship victory either. This video is not intended to discredit those teams at all. The American world juniors, the American women and the two and the Swedish or, and the men's Swedish hockey team at the world hockey championship for the second year in a row all won their championships fair and square, as far as I'm concerned. As of right now, in under double IHF rules, in gold medal games, if overtime doesn't decide a winner, they decide a gold medal winner by a shootout. And the American women this year won their gold medal fair and square. The Swedes won their second straight World Hockey Championship in a row, fair and square. They defeated Switzerland in a shootout. They defeated Canada in a shootout last year. And last year, the American World Juniors defeated Canada in a shootout as well. And to all those teams, they all deserve credit for winning. The Americans won those two tournaments that I'm talking about fair and square, and so did Sweden. That's the rules. That's the way it is. And you know what? I'm not mad that those teams won. And I'm sure some of you are thinking, oh no, here comes another butthurt Canadian hockey fan. Well, am I butthurt? Truth is, of course I am. Because of course I want my country to win. 
I w- I'm a proud Canadian. Of course I want the Canadian teams to win. I'm always rooting for Canada. I'm a proud Canadian. Just as much as any American out there would be rooting for their country to win. Of course you would. Whether you're American, you're Swedish, you're Canadian like myself, or you're Russian, or you're German, or you're Finnish, or whoever. Or wherever your nationality is, wherever your country, wherever you're from. Whether you're Danish, or Finnish, or Swedish, or English, or South Korean. I mean, they were actually in the World Hockey Championship this year. And they were in the Winter Olympics too. And France was even in the World Hockey Championship this year. I don't remember seeing a French team in that tournament before. So that's pretty cool. And you know what? Regardless of where you're from, I expect all of you out there, regardless of where you're from, to be rooting for your country to win. I don't blame you. I root for my country to win. So of course when I see my Canadian teams lose, or or our Canadian teams lose, I don't like it. I think it sucks. It sucks because, of course, I want my country to win just as much as anybody else wants their country to win. And I don't blame you for that. But it's just, for me, it's not the fact that the Canadians lost that I'm pissed off about in this video. What I'm frustrated with is how they lost, how Switzerland lost the World Hockey Championship, how Canada, how our Canadian women here in Canada lost the gold medal at the Olympics this year. They lost fair and square. And in my opinion, and to some of you American viewers out there, you're probably going to think the hell is frozen over by hearing me, a Canadian hockey fan, saying this about your American women's Olympic hockey team. But guess what? I felt, and I still feel to this day, that the American women at the Winter Olympics this year were more deserving of the gold medal than the Canadian women were. During the gold medal game, I felt that the American girls outplayed our Canadian girls. I don't like admitting it, but it's in my opinion, it's the truth. I feel it's the truth. I feel that the American women were more deserving than the Canadian women were. Of course, I wanted to see our Canadian girls win. If they would have won that shootout for the gold medal to win their fifth straight gold medal, would I, would I have been happy? Of course, I would have been happy. But as I say that, though, I, I, I would not have been happy with how that game was decided. And I would definitely sympathize with the American fans who felt that the shootout was a ripoff. That they should have had to play sudden death over time. I would totally agree. Whether Canada won that game or not, I would still feel the same way about how that gold medal women's Olympic hockey game was decided. I don't feel that shootouts should be deciding gold medal games. And at the bare minimum, in my opinion... The double IHF needs to change the rules where at the bare minimum, all the games from the quarterfinal round all the way up to the bronze and gold medal games should all be decided by sudden death over time instead of the shootout. Because I don't feel a breakaway competition should decide any type of playoff game. If they want to, you know what, if they want to leave the shootout for the round robin, I'd just be happy if they changed the rule from the quarterfinals onward to sudden death over time instead of the shootouts. And you want to know uh, what, how else, I, or something else too? Truth is, I would actually just be happy if the double IHF at the bare, barest minimum changed the rule for the gold medal games to sudden death over time instead of shootouts. Even that, in my opinion, would be an improvement. But I honestly feel that it should be from the quarterfinal round of any double IHF event all the way up to the medal games. Should all be sudden death over time, not shootouts. Period. And you know what? Once again, I can't reiterate it enough. This video is not intended to discredit the American women's Olympic gold medal this year. They won that game fair and square, and I feel that they were more deserving of that game than the Canadian women were. And on top of that, you know what? I'm just happy about the fact that our, the Canadian women won four consecutive Olympic gold medals. I mean, if it, that isn't something to be proud of, I don't know what is. That is an incredible, incredible accomplishment for the Canadian women's hockey team. Those ladies should be proud of themselves because 
that is pretty damn incredible as far as I'm concerned. And you know what? I'm just grateful that they've done as well as they have. And you know what? Obviously, as a Canadian, I thought it was disappointing to see the Americans win, but they deserved it this year. And you know what? It is what it is. They won that game fair and square. And as I've said a couple times now, I felt they were more deserving of it anyway. I don't like admitting it, but that's how I feel. And you know what? It, you got to call it, you got to give the American girls credit where it's due. They played a fantastic tournament and they played a fantastic game against the Canadian girls. And if you're a Canadian like me and you disagree with me, that's fine. But I felt that the American girls had their number this year. And you know what? It is what it is. Um, also with Sweden, Sweden deserved to win those back-to-back -back championships at the World Hockey Championship. And you know what? For this year at least, I felt that, you know, I, here's how I feel about this year's World Hockey Championship victory for, for Sweden. If you can defeat the United States of America 6 to nothing in a game, I think you're pretty damn deserving of a gold medal. And I don't mean that uh, to be in poor... I don't mean to sound... If I sound in poor taste to you American viewers out there, I apologize because that's not the intention. The reason I'm saying that if a team can defeat the United States of America 6 to nothing, that they deserve to win is because I know I have seen so many good American teams in these tournaments over the years. And I know how good the Americans are at hockey. I feel that they, are, they don't get enough credit sometimes. Because you know what? The Americans usually always, I find they almost always ice a good team. Whether, whether it's the Olympics or the World Juniors or even the World Hockey Championship, the Americans always have a pretty fairly decent team. They are one of the best countries in the world when it comes to ice hockey. And you know what? If they always ice such a good team a lot of, or they always ice a really good team more often than not. I mean, sometimes they have their bad years, but Canada does too. And you know what? It's... Once again, you know, I, I just, I know how good some of these American players are. I've seen so many good American teams play in these tournaments over the years. I just, that's how I, you know, I just feel that if, if, a, te if a country can defeat the Americans six to nothing, they deserve to win because I know how good the American teams usually are. And you know what? In that gold medal game at the World Hockey Championship this year, I mean, it definitely sucked uh, seeing that game go to a shootout. But you know what? It was really frustrating to watch. Another gold medal game going to a shootout. But... At the end of the day, that's the rules, and Sweden won it again, and they deserved to win. I mean, I, I definitely feel bad for the Swiss hockey fans out there. And you know what? I, once again, I can't say it enough. Shootouts should not decide these gold medal games. And it's just ridiculous, in my opinion, that that's how they are decided still. It should be sudden death over time. And in fact, you want to know what else? If I actually had my way, you would no longer see shootouts decide any hockey game at all. I would only have shootouts for preseason games and all-star games and pre-competition games. That's it. If I had my way, the National Hockey League would no longer have shootouts decide regular season games. If I had my way... The shootout would no longer decide any games in any double IHF sanctioned event, whether it's the Olympics, World Juniors, or World Hockey Championship. Shootouts would not decide those games if I had my way. Shootouts would not decide Canadian Hockey League games, American Hockey League games, even East Coast Hockey League games. I would not have shootouts decide any of them. And you know what? You may disagree with me. That's fine. I do not expect any, or I do not expect all of you, sorry, 
to agree with me. I get it. Sometimes we all, some people do really like the shootouts. I hate them. In fact, you know, I find it really frustrating that the National Hockey League still decides games and shootouts during the regular season. Because you know what? If there's a team that's really good at shootouts and they are able to take teams to shootouts, they can defeat them. They can get more points in the standings. And guess what? They can either get themselves into the playoffs because of it, or they can put themselves in a better position so that they don't have to face a, a, a really good opponent in the first round of the playoffs and weasel their way deep into long playoff runs because of the shootout. I'm not saying that it's happened before, but you know what? I'm sure there's been at least one or two times where a team's been able to make the playoffs because of shootout victories. I mean, obviously with the current rules, if you've got more points in the standings, you deserve to be in the playoffs over the other team. Of course. But I'm sorry, but I don't, that's what I don't like about shootouts. All you have to do is be good at breakaway competitions to win games in the National Hockey League, and you can be getting two points a game. You could be winning games because you're better at a breakaway competition. That's what I meant to say. You know, it's the fact that teams are able to get themselves more points in the standings because of the shootout rather than actual hockey, to me, is a frustrating concept. It's really frustrating to me. Same with the double IHF events. So, you know, there's a team that's not very good that, that if they can beat a team in the shootout, they can advance to the next round. And another team that's probably more deserving it, it doesn't make it into the, into the quarterfinals because they couldn't win in a shootout. I'm sorry, but I, I, I can't say it enough. I hate the shootout. I don't feel that shootouts should be deciding games at all. And you know what? If the NH, at least the NHL has sudden death overtime in the postseason. Same with any of the leagues in North America. The American Hockey League, the East Coast Hockey League, I believe. And of course, I know for sure the Canadian Hockey League and the three leagues that it's split up into that are that form the Canadian Hockey League, the WHL, the Quebec Major Junior League, and Ontario Hockey League, of course. I know that all of their playoff games are decided by sudden death overtime. And you know what? In my opinion, the double IHF needs to change it so that at least the quarterfinals up to the gold medal game are decided by sudden death overtime instead of shootouts. Because I am sick of shootouts deciding such pivotal games. They're deciding champions. That's not right in my opinion. It should be decided by actual sudden death hockey. Play till somebody scores and wins the game. That to me, if I see Canada lose or see anybody lose in an overtime loss, that to me is not so bad because I know that that team lost playing hockey, not, not a breakaway competition. I, I'm sorry. I just, I just don't agree with the concept. I despise the shootout, and I wish that these, I wish that these leagues and the double IHF would get rid of them entirely, or at least in the double IHF's case, at least get rid of them for the playoff rounds, the medal rounds, like the quarterfinals up to the gold and bronze medal games. If they would just do that, I would be happy. I would be satisfied with that, more than satisfied. That I, would, I could bear. That to me is tolerable. But having quarterfinals all the way up to the gold medal game decided by shootouts if overtime doesn't find a winner. I, I do not agree with it. I hate that rule and I don't think it's right. And if Canada won the gold medal this year, the women's uh, gold medal game in the Winter Olympics, obviously I'd be happy for Canada winning, but I would not be happy with how that game was decided. And some of you may, may not believe me when I say that, but I'm being honest. I would be equally disappointed with that game going to a shootout, whether Canada won or not, or which they didn't win. The Americans did, eh? But I'm sorry, guys. I just feel that shootouts should not be deciding gold medal games. This should not be deciding any type of playoff game. Quarterfinals, semifinals, 
medal games, championship games, or whatever. And once again, I can't say it enough. Uh, this video is not, I'm not making this video to take anything away from the Americans World Junior Victory last year in 2017. I am most certainly not doing this video to discredit the American Women's Gold Medal Hockey or Gold Medal Olympic Victory. And I'm definitely not taking, trying to discredit the Swedish uh, World Hockey Championships victories in back-to-back -back years. And by the way, huge congrats to the Swedish uh, World Hockey Championship team for the second year in a row winning a World Hockey Championship in back-to-back -back years is a huge accomplishment and it's not easy to do. And the fact that Sweden has won that tournament again for the second year in a row is incredible. And those guys deserve credit where it's due. Same with the Swiss, same with the Swiss team for defeating Canada. Switzerland usually does not defeat Canada. And you know what? I wasn't happy seeing Switzerland defeat Canada. But guess what, folks? They defeated the Canadians fair and square. They were the better team in that game. They were able, at the end of the day, they won. They had more goals than the Canadian team. And you know what? The, on the scoreboard, they were the better team. If you look at the score, they were the better team because they won. And you know what? As much as I didn't like seeing Switzerland win that semifinal game over Canada, guess what? They won it fair and square, and you got to give them credit where it's due, in my opinion, because the Swiss deserved to win. I just, you know... I just hate it when these major games go to shootouts because I I can't say it enough. Shootouts should not decide playoff games or medal round games in any double IHF event. I'm sorry, I just I don't agree with it at all. I don't like it. And you know what? I I understand that sometimes people you know I understand some people do not watch the World Hockey Championship and some of these double IHF events because shootouts decide the champions if overtime doesn't work out you know I I don't understand that because to me I still feel that these events are awesome events I feel that the hockey that we get to witness in these events is great hockey I don't care if the World Hockey Championship is more popular in Europe I still think it's a great tournament. I was actually fortunate enough to not have any morning shifts at my at my work during the entire duration of the World Hockey Championship this past month. And you know what? I, just because shootouts decide or used to decide gold medal winners in that tournament doesn't mean that I'm not going to watch it. I mean, is it more popular in Europe? Absolutely. But I don't care if it's more popular in Europe. I know that in North America, less people watch it, but I don't care. I, For me, it's about what you like. And you know what? I watch that tournament as much as I can every year. I watch any international hockey event that I can every year because... I feel it's good hockey and I enjoy watching it. And as long as there's a Canadian team in these tournaments, of course, I'm going to watch them and root for my country, Canada, to win. Just as much as anybody else would for their country to win. Of course. You know what? I feel that these are still great tournaments, even with the shootouts being used to unfortunately decide gold medal games or any quarterfinal, semifinal, and medal round games. You know, I think that part is horrible, but they're still great events. I still enjoy watching them, and I don't care if they're more popular in Europe or not. I just think it sucks that the shootout decides gold medal champions in double IHF sanctioned events. In my opinion, I think it's terrible, and I think they need to change it so it's sudden death over time. From the quarterfinals up at the bare minimum. And you know what? I'd even just be happy at this point if they made the, at least made the gold medal games sudden death over time. And bronze medal games too. Even just that alone would be a huge improvement, in my opinion. I would be happy with that. I wouldn't be fully satisfied. I mean, I would be, I would be very satisfied if they changed the rule for sudden death over time instead of shootouts for the quarterfinals up to the gold and bronze medal games. 
That would make me extremely happy. But I would be happy if they at least changed the rule for the bronze and gold medal games. Because I'm sorry, guys, but those games should not be decided by shootouts, period. I don't feel it's right. I think it's wrong. And you know what? I Even though I hate the way that those tournaments are decided by shootouts... I'm still going to watch them. I still think they're great events. I just wish they would change that. And you know what? If you don't like them being decided by shootouts, guess what? You don't have to watch it. But you know, it's just... I just don't feel it's right. That's all. And you know what? Um, what else was I going to say? You know, the thing is... I, I'll also say this too. I mean, if you don't want to watch those tournaments because of how they're decided, I mean... Yeah. If you say that, well, how do you feel about NHL games being decided by shootouts? I don't like it, but I still love the National Hockey League. I still continue to watch because I love the NHL. Once again, I think it sucks that these games are decided by shootouts, but you know what? Unfortunately, it is what it is. But at the end of the day, I'm still a hockey fan, and as long as Canada's playing in these IIHF-sanctioned events, I'm still going to continue to watch, and I'm still going to root for Canada to win, because I'm a proud Canadian, and I'm always going to root for my country to win. Now with that, you guys, uh, feel free to share your thoughts if you want to. If you agree, that's great. If you don't, I totally understand. Um, if you have anything you want to add, feel free to comment. Uh, I'd be curious to hear how other people feel about this topic. But anyways, you guys, with that, I'm going to call it a wrap for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And with that, you guys, uh, take care. And of course, as always, you guys, bye for now.